It's all in the reflexes. Whew, did you see those motorcycle moves? Okay. Well, as much fun as I've had there, I guess we should continue with story mode. Finish, finish power to the uh, eh, sheeple. Meet Josh near Fort Point. Where's that at? Oh, that's way the fudge up here. Look at this. It's way the heck. Can we just make a quick uh, cheeky teleport? Whoa! Mega Dab, thank you so much for your tip there, Mr. Madman, who said, Yay, first tip, love all you do, but can't catch too many streams because of awful internet. I can't make too many streams because of all for internet, so you and me, we belong together. Now, I don't know if I've mentioned this since we started, but uh, all current contributions, all current tips are going toward getting me a new office chair since I broke this one. So, uh, in my last stream, I asked people how much an office chair would be. Everyone said, like, $700. No, sir. Not for me. We're going with a much cheaper chair. I actually hope to find one cheaper than $300, but that's kind of the, what we're going for right now. I also noticed the tip wasn't exactly where I wanted it to be. I want the tip to look like it's sliding down right out right out from under here. You know what I mean? So maybe like right right like that. I, am, I, am I putting too much thought into this? I'm, I want to look like it's sliding out, like not in the middle of the screen, but just kind of right there. All right. We'll have to wait for the next tip to come through to see if that pay works. But um, hopefully I got that better centered now on where I want it. I was going to say let's teleport to something closer, but there's nothing Nothing seems to be over here that we can actually teleport to. Do we have things turned off? No, all the filters are on. I guess we'll just drive. I mean, whatever. I enjoy a nice leisurely cruise through the city. But uh, again, big shout out there to Madman2008. Uh, 2008. I keep saying 2008. It's only 208 over here. Uh, it is 2002, though. No, wait, Dave, man. No, that's that's, uh, that's Davey. Madman, where are you? Yeah, no, it's 208. Okay. Madman, 208. And then Davey P is 2002. I'm, I'm keeping track of this, guys. I'm going to get your numbers all memorized. What are, Do these memory numbers hold some significance? I'm going to make some guesses. I'm going to go ahead and say that um, Davey P, you were born in the year 2002. And then Mr. Madman, 208, you were born in the year 2000... Or, no, 208 A.D., so you're actually, like, almost 2,000 years old. I mean, I like, not almost, you're, you're a couple hundred years off. But you're a pretty old fella, and I'm, I'm guessing you've lived through a lot and you've seen a lot of things. Tell us, what was it like during... I'm trying to think of an old war, and for some reason the revolution's coming to mind. That wasn't that long ago. Like, if you've been around since the year 208 AD, you've seen a lot of things. And the Revolutionary War is just like a blip on your radar. Like, that was just like yesterday for you. Now, 208's got to have some deep, significant meaning, though. Um, that is how long you want to live, too. So you want to be 208 years old before you die. Or, you wanted to be Madman, but there was 207 people ahead of you who already had that name. I'm just throwing out random guesses. Maybe it's your lucky number? It's your favorite number? I feel like I should have made that exit back there. I'm doing a real bad job of getting over to this place in, like, the, the quickest way possible. I feel like we're going to be doing a lot of detouring here in a second. All right, hold on to your britches. Detour. Perfect. Perfectly planned. Amazing. We actually landed that. Mine is a combo of my name and the number on my friend's name. Okay, cool. Awesome. So you got you guys got a thing. You're the 208 gang. But you're not like a let's go steal and, and pillage gang. You're like uh, like the Sugar Club gang. You're the 208 gang. You go around and you uh, help old ladies cross, cross streets, right? Or I don't know. Maybe you do just like pillage and steal. And if that's the case, that's fine. Just don't tell me about it because then that makes me an accomplice. And I don't want that kind of responsibility on my shoulders. That's what that means to be an accomplice, right? Is you just know things have happened. Um... Little bro wants to go eat a Chipotle. Please tell me you're not in there. Marcus, Marcus, there's snipers on the roof. Snipers? What are you talking about? Are you and I. I'm sorry, they're, they're not supposed to be here. Dushan must have heard them. Why are you whispering? I'm not whispering. Can you get... Hey, man, I'm not going in there. Look. So tomorrow, they're trucking out these machines to the polling places, and what are we supposed to do? R reverse engineer? No, that's not feasible given our time frame. The virus is military grade. The only prudent course is to destroy them all. Destroy them all? Okay. What do you want to do? Blow them up? 
fort's a military base. There's plenty of explosives. No voting machines. It delays the election. Yeah, we expose the tampering and give people time to make an informed decision. Clever. Very clever. I'm a fan. Okay. But, okay, uh, all right, so we've got him in a toilet, uh, a, a, a Johnny on the spot, as some would say, Port-a-John, port portable toilet, as it says there on the side, many different names for it. We've got, yeah, blowing up voting machines kind of extreme. Hell no. I mean, compared to other things we've done. My time for the election. It's a civic service, essentially. Yeah, pretty much at this point. I was told there's snipers on the roof. I don't see them. VRR, not Eagle Vision, but, um, mm, so, I mean, I see that there. That's obviously the quickest way onto the roof, but there's some things at ground level here that I feel we should probably deal with first off, assuming I can figure out how to get to them. There's gotta be, like, a door, right? Am I supposed to go to the roof, and then from the roof, we'll find access into the building? Actually, no, that looks like the front door right there. All right, we'll just go right in. I can't remember which of these is silenced. Oh, yeah. Fully auto-suppressed rifle. That's the one. And uh, we'll just shoot everything we see and everyone. And that should probably just work out fine. No big deal. Hey, Our, maybe we'll just try to be stealthy then? I don't know. I feel like now that I'm in here, I hear a lot of voices. But again, I don't see anybody but him. Apparently, it's just this bro. Oh, and that guy up there. Okay, so there is actually a guy on the roof, and he may very well be a sniper. We have no proof of it. We've got no. We we can't I mean, we can't prove that he's a sniper. We're just making assumptions here. You know what they say about people who make assumptions? They're assuming things. That's what they say. There's a guy with a key. We probably need to get the key. Is it that guy? No, it's that guy. Okay. Well, fortunately, we don't have to physically go get the key because it's digital. I hope. We should just be able to do this number. That's not what we want. We want a key. Still not what we want. Where, the, where did the key go? There it is. Alright, now what are we doing with the key? That's the real question. I don't actually know. We're here to blow these things up. But... How? Ah, uh, you know what we'll do? We'll call in a gang. That's what we'll do. Or no, we're forging evidence. I, 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 I forget which one is calling the police and which one's calling a gang, but I think we just called in a gang. So they're going to show up. They'll shoot up the place. That'll be, like, enough of a distraction, I think. Can we also, like, do something to this guy? No, we can't. More money, though. I mean, we, we're, we've got, like, $408,000, so we're not necessarily hurting for cash, but you get a chance to get some money, you take it. Hey, cool, these guys are here. Okay. They're, they're doing a real poor job. I mean, they're doing a great job soaking bullets, but that was... That was over way faster than I had hoped. Okay, well, you know what? We'll just blow you up then, I guess. And you too. Can I blow you up as well? I can't. Alright, cool. Uh-oh, quadcopter being detected. Okay, so they're gonna start looking for me now that we've done that. N not that I can say that I blame them. We want to make sure that we've got these ready, because this is really the only way we're gonna be able to deal with a guy in full armor... Cool, we killed him. Of course, now there's a lot more of them. Maybe that was a mistake? Leave me alone! I'm just a man! Who is shooting me? It's this guy! Ah! So much short-livedness there. That was such a... Mm. Maybe we should go get a shotgun. We don't have a shotgun. If we had a shotgun, maybe we'd be able to kill these guys in all the armor a lot faster than just relying on explosives. That was an odd load. Also, can we upgrade something? Do we have any... We have some research points available. Isn't there something that lets us, like, load in weapons faster or something like that? What, what do you do? Botnet personal device... Okay, so we save botnets. It reduces botnet resource costs when using a hack on an individual. I mean, I'm not really sure if that's going to help us tinkering. Here we go, though. Allows carrying and placing of five electroshock devices at once. Explosive and electro have a larger area of effect. That's helpful. Definitely grab that. And then, do we have... We only have two research points available, so we can't get that. Alright, that's Isn't fine, though. Up voting machines extreme? Yes, it is a bit extreme. It's like Josh said, we buy time for the election. It's a civic service, essentially. 
Yeah, what, what they're saying. Maybe we should sneak in from the top and creep our way down. If you know what I'm saying. Like, it might be easier to kill everybody in the building. If we're not, like... You, know, you want the high ground. If there's one thing I learned from Obi-Wan, it's that you want the high ground. Unless you're fighting Darth Maul, in which case you can be in a pit and it's fine. I think that that's really not necessarily a universal thing. Like, I think Obi-Wan is saying, I have the high ground. And the high ground works for me. No, I don't know what Obi-Wan's saying. Maybe Obi-Wan is implying that only he can work from the low grounds? I think we've discussed this before. I think Obi-Wan was just trying to, like, freak Anakin out. And, and I think it worked. Like, he psyched him out, and he definitely got, like, half of his body parts chopped off. So that did definitely work out in Obi's favor. All right, yeah, we'll creep around level to level, and we'll just beat guys to death with our bolo. We'll bolo him to death, and I think that that's probably what's going to win the game for us in an ideal world. Okay, perfect. Can we just book it? Like, he's not going to hear us, is he? Okay. Not the sound I was expecting this dead man to make, but fine. That one over there, I can take the key from. It doesn't look like he's armed. Like, it doesn't look like he's armor, so if I shoot him with the... What the fudge? No, I didn't know what was happening there. I hit the wrong button. Have I seen any movies lately? Just saw Guardians of the Galaxy 2, and that was a rip-roaring good time. Good. Okay, killed him. And no one's noticed. All right, then. First round of dead people done. Question extends to everyone else. Yeah, if you're watching live, have you seen any movies lately? And also, if you're watching after the fact, if you're watching from the archive on YouTube, have you seen Guardians of the Galaxy 2 yet? Because that was a fantastic movie. I had a really good time with that. I went with my little brother and his girlfriend, and, and it was a good time. You know what? It was fine. It was, it was good. We had fun. I mean, I thought it was going to be a bro's night out, but whatever. Mind your business, man. I've got special orders. Interesting. Interesting that there's someone here with special orders to mess with the machines. I don't think there's anyone on this level, so I think we can go ahead and call this a level clear. We'll slip back here. And... Oh, here we go. We'll just blow that, and that should do it, right? Done! Alright, doesn't look like anyone heard that either, so I think we're good. Need to disable this alarm, though. I can't quite get out enough to activate it. Oh, there we go. Alright, so far, so good. You just watched the first Gal Guardians of the Galaxy last weekend. Well, what did you think about it? Because I remember going into that movie having no clue what to expect. Typical Marvel fashion. I'm like, how are they going to make this work? And then they did, and it was really fun. That's mostly James Gunn, though. James Gunn made that movie work, and it was a really good time. Uh, you're responsible for... Get, get this out of here. Get this. I don't care about this email. Wrong button. There we go. James Gunn did an excellent job with that movie. He's a, fan he's a fantastic director. Okay, so I think we can start making guys blow up. As long as we're not here and they don't find me. Uh, should we continue to be sneaky, though? I think we should probably continue to be sneaky. Also, is there another one back over here? Oh, there is! Okay, so this is good that I haven't figured out how to get down there yet. Gives us a chance to sneak in here. Not what I meant to do. Okay. There doesn't seem to be a clever device we can use to hack these machines. So, I guess we're gonna have to use... Not Jumper. Jumper, go away. Oh, good. Superheated Pig liked the movie. Happy to hear it. I wasn't personally... No, we don't want that either. Stop it. I don't know why I keep hitting these buttons. I wasn't personally involved in the making of the film, so I don't know why it matters to me that people like it. But I really enjoyed it. I was surprised that I enjoyed it, but then I also enjoyed it. But then also... I mean, that destroyed all but, what, two of these? Do I have to beat them to death myself? I don't want to start shooting them. I mean, I guess my weapon is silenced. Problem dealt with. Alright, if I'd known I could have just shot them, I would have just done that to begin with. And we found a sneaky way down to the next level as well. We gotta go lower, though. We gotta get, we gotta get lower. I went with my friend, and his sister did not realize that we were seeing a Marvel movie, and I found that hysterical. How do you not know? But then, of course, you gotta remember, a lot of just normal people go to the movies, and they don't know these things. General population. Gen pop, if you will. The general public. Gen pub, if you will. Don't keep track of these things, so... 
Sorry, buddy. Yeah, that armor doesn't really help much when you're being strangled to death, does it? So that seems to be the best way to engage these guys. It's not with bullets or fisticuffs. It's just a nice, silent choke around the neck. A choker, if you will. Real 90s style. Fun stuff, really. I'm hitting the buttons! I freaking... I hit the buttons! Oh, Shrek, you! We've made it so far! No, 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 no. Not playing these games. Nope, unlock that. Shut that. Lock it. Okay. Oh, no! How did they open it? I shut it! Oh, my gosh! We're gonna die here! I've got no way of fighting this guy! Oh, I mean, I've got these explosives. No! Kill him! He's invincible! Oh, no, he's dead. Oh, cool, and I'm escaping. Awesome. No, don't do that! I'm not, I'm not in a good place right now, guys. Emotionally, physically, mentally. I'm not prepared for any of this. Shut this door. Oh, shoot, here they come. Okay, it's an unarmored one. Easy. As long as it's an unarmored one, I can just shoot them in the face and we'll be fine. This guy, though, looks armored. So we're gonna be ready for him. As soon as he comes through that door... Oh, oh, here we go. I lost him. Oh, this is tense. My controller's shrumbling. Dad, Gummit! I thought that that would kill you! Sorry. Not sorry. Ah! How? Where? Why? What? Oh, for the love of all things good and decent. Ugh. Shrek me. That means we've got to start over. Isn't blowing up voting machines kind of extreme? Hell no! It's like Josh said, we buy time for the election. It's a civic service, essentially. Tired of hearing this. Tired of hearing what we're going to be doing for the civic service and election and duty. Duty? What a funny word. Good grief. No, stop this. Get back up there. Stay on target. Stay on target. All right. At least now we know what we're doing. We know how to approach this. We know how to go about it. So, it's fine. Maybe we should have grabbed that sniper rifle. We've already figured out that there's no one on this level, right? Like we determined that last time? Yeah. This level is secure. Sorry if I'm not talkative right now. It's just I feel like I've been in this place before. You know what I mean? Been here, done this. Not at all enthused to be doing it again. Hopefully I'm running like a whale, wha a whale? <laughs> a whale oiled machine. You know, a machine used by whales. What the heck? How do you destroy them? I just kind of shot them a bit last time and that worked. There we go. They seem to be taking more firepower now. It's like they've leveled up. I'm not sure if voting machines can level up, but that appears to be what's happened. What's left? I've destroyed them all. There's no more to destroy here. What does it want me to do? What? What? I don't... Shrek this. You know what? There you go. Taken care of. Somehow that hasn't drawn attention to me? No, they're on alert now. Shrek me, they're on alert now. Alright, you. Perfect! I actually killed one! Alright, so while well, those recharge, maybe we can use this electroshock device to our advantage? Not sure what it does. 
Guess we'll find out when they come around that corner, though, and inevitably open this door. Uh, but what if they all go upstairs like that guy did? What if they all sneak around and they get me? I'm paranoid now. I don't want this to happen again. Perfect, I guess. Can I shoot them now in the face and kill them? That worked surprisingly well. That's two down. One, two, three, four. Okay, this guy's coming, though. Oh, he's up. He's gone way up there. Well, he's totally going to find the dead bodies now. Aw, oh, Shrek, what do I do? Do I just continue? I guess I just continue. All right, what if everyone left out there is a guy that can be destroyed by blowing him up? Like, if that's the case, we can just wipe them all out real quick here. Just get, just get you through the door. Oh, look out, look out, look out, look out. Take the money. Get, get out of here. You're not helping anybody. Let's be honest here. You're not doing anything for the cause. Do we not worry about him? I don't know what to do. Let's not worry about him. All right, down a level we go. Can we go another level down here? We can't. Okay. All right, fine. Benny, it's all on you now. Silent as a mouse. Need you to creep out the door. Stealthfully see who can be blown up. In an ideal world, everyone except for that guy. Now, that might draw a lot of attention. It doesn't look like any of them can blow up. None of them can blow up. What a waste. All right, then we'll just have to be creepy, I guess. We've only got two left. I mean, this is as far as we made it last time. The difference being, we've actually managed to kill some guys this time. Like, we're doing okay. Some lessons have been learned... We're about to be one guy less to deal with. What are you doing? Are you smelling the pole? You got this weirdo here just smelling the pole. Alright. I think there's four left. So we're good. We're good. If he walks behind this van, we're totally going to run him over. Are you kidding me? What was that? Alright, well, hold on. We'll get him this time. Can finish the job! He's so just nonplussed about all this. Can I make a sound over here? Here we go. Hey! Okay, so now they're searching the area for me. There's only three of them left, though. One of them could be easy to take down. Ha 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 ha! Yes! There's only one left! Now, if they call for reinforcements, that could be the end of this, right? Like, our easy ride could come to a very swift end here. We gotta take care of him. We gotta take care of him now. Check that out, man. Did you hear that spark over there? You didn't. You, you, you're not paying attention to the spark, are you? Yes! Uh-oh, what's, what's that? What's that? What's that? What is that? What is that? What is that happening? Turn it off! 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 Turn it off. <sighs> okay. I think we've done it here. Very calmly, toss this over, blow it up. Did y'all see that? Thought it showed a guy out there. Alright, um, how do we get to these? That, just like that, you just run behind the wall. And I think these worked last time as well? Oh, but no, look at that. No, you know what, can we just pick that back up? Got them all. Can, can we, can we, can we take that with us? Thank you. Have we gotten in them all? We haven't gotten them all. What do you... Now we've gotten them all, Marcus. What, what is your issue, man? All right. How do I get out? Where's the front door? Is there a front door? There is a front door. And out the front door we go. Put the gun up, Marcus. This looks suspicious. Hey, a motorcycle. Man, it was all too easy.
Yeah! Right. Oh, hi there. Hey, Excuse me. Together a video using the stuff you got in the penthouse. Check it out. Okay, I mean, I'm in the middle of driving, but I'll watch a video on the road. That's fine. 